Are we enjoying the educational Aatrox stream? I, I am really enjoying it. I'm surprised how fun this champion is actually to play. I, I, I didn't think I'd have that much fun playing Aatrox, unironically. But when I played in the first game, I was like, holy shit, this champion is actually so fun to play. And now I see why Aatrox is the most played top lane champion. I actually didn't know how satisfying and like dopamine heavy this champion is because every time you land one of those sweet spot cues, it, it's just dopamine. Like with Garen or the Darius, you need like the five stacks or like the, the justice ultimate to get that full dopamine. But bro, this champion is so much fun to play. So, chat, what I saw that against Quinn, you can run Arcane Comet. Should we run Comet chat into Quinn? Okay, let's try it. I wanna try it. See if it works or not. I guess you take Nimbus, Transcendent, Scorch. We're more so playing a poke style of Aatrox. Poke Aatrox. Poke Trox. I'm scouting one tricks, right? Whenever I'm gonna learn a new champion, you have to scout one tricks. So I see, look, when Ayu plays against like Quinn, he goes Comet. Here he goes against Victor, he goes Comet. Here he plays against Olaf, he goes Face Rush. So yeah, I mean, of course, one trick should know better about the champions than I do. Every move you made, I was watching you. If you are serious about improving and climbing to your desired league rank, you're in the right place. This year, I've worked on laying out two courses that will help you in all aspects to improve. One is about all the fundamentals for the laning phase, and the other one goes in-depth on tempo and the mid to late. I've been challenger for 7 years and I can guarantee you that this will massively speed up your process and reaching any goal that you have set in mind. Both courses have a preview video where you can see the style of the videos, so check those out before anything. You can also always join my Discord to check out some reviews. Alright, let's get into the video. Alrighty, let's try this range matchup. This should start, of course, it's Quinn with PTA, Domination, Flash Ignite, aka Disgusting Piggy. Alright, let's try this combat setup against these disgusting ranged top lane abusers. Let's get my ward on as per usual, and in this matchup chat, I'm not looking for extended fights, I'm only looking to poke, okay? Like, I just want to try and poke. Quinn should get the priority in the early game, Quinn is really, really strong in the early game, she's also playing PTA. If she goes like auto, E auto, like, my matchup is really, really doomed in the early game. She has deep blade start, so she doesn't have too much sustain, and she doesn't have fleet, right? So this is good for me. If I think Quinn should be running fleet in in this matchup, but she's going PTA. It's more aggressive, deep blade PTA, right? So it's gonna be harder for me in the early game. But once I'm like level five, level seven, it's gonna be easier. But we see that Quinn is actually leashing. So even though this is a hard losing matchup for me, if she's leashing, I get the opportunity to try and look for priority, and I will always look for priority whenever I can because it allows me to walk up for free for his last hit, and Quinn right now is gonna have to focus last hits more than being able to harass me, like, Quinn has to go for a last hit there, right, instead of being able to harass me, and that's what you get from getting priority, so, by Quinn leashing here, always make use of this. Boom, come with the Scorch. Right, so Quinn more so has to focus on last hits, plus, I get my level 2 first, so, now Quinn cannot really look to play aggressive onto me, right, so, prime example of getting priority in a losing matchup, helping you out a lot. Now he gets Comet again. Bomba! <laughs> Actually, it feels good. Okay, let's run it out. We're not gonna use Q3. And now we get a level 3 first as well. So you see here, I'm gonna put two points on my Q, I think, to just continuously poke. I don't have to put I don't have to put a little I don't have to put the point in my W. Win! Bomba! <laughs> Alright, this feels so nice actually. It's kinda brain dead, but it feels good. Yeah, use your potion, little bitch. Oh, Quinn. Oh, Quinn! Looks like we're in trouble there. I had three suits fought onto her. It's GG for her. And the wave is pushing into me now. And this is all a result of Quinn leashing, by the way, chat. So, if anything, open your eyes. Don't leash your junglers. It's shit for you. Ooh, that should hit. She needs one cast here to get level four. Keep that in mind. That's her level four timer, right? Now, the wave is still pushing into me. She's forced to reset. I want to try and cancel her base. I need two casts here to match level four. So, I'll do this. Get the level four myself. What? Did I miss XP somewhere or did I miscalculate? I guess I miscalculated. Oh, there's two casters left. I miscalculated. Fiddlesticks is banned to both remember, so I don't have to be scared of Fiddlesticks here. Because I, I saw where he started this clear. I stood in front of her so she can't E away from me. Bomba! Alright! And Queen matchup done and dusted. Why? Because I look for priority. Why? Because of Comet Aatrox. Why? Because I'm the gout. By me standing here, right? The Queen E went this way, so she was always dead. I tried to position myself in a way where Queen couldn't look for E. Actually, I should have stayed for 150 gold so I can get refillable. I'm gonna spam ping that the Queen does not have flash and we can kill her again. How's Edgers going so far? Yo, they son, we're 9-0, bro. I mean, this wave is perma-frozen. So, 
Chat, remember how I always say you win or lose your matchups in the first four ways. So you see here that I got the priority in the early game. I dropped the Quinn, I made the wave bounce back into me, this wave is still bouncing back into me, and this is all a result of how the first four waves went. Right? Fiddlesticks is back topside, but Quinn might not respect my level 6 here, I need this cast and this melee, and I'll be level 6, I'll prep this, and then I'm gonna ult and run her down. And the wave is still frozen! Any first four waves abuses in chat or enjoyers? I'm starting to get mechanically good on my champion now too. I mean, so GG for her, by the way. That's how we play the Royal Champions chat. And that is literally also because the Queen was leashing. Like, if she wasn't leashing, I would actually get pushed in the early game, right? But because she was leashing, I can get the priority. And then I get my level 2 first, I get my level 3 first. And Queen can't really arrest me. Also, she's not really allowed to walk up. I'm gonna start slow pushing into her because I want to look for a reset myself. But I, she just hit level 5. Like, she's legit. 1 EXP to level 6, right? And I'm almost level 7. I'm gonna hard push this wave and reset. This is a game where I'm considering to go dust play chat, but I told myself go drink every game. I'm hiking considering. Like, if I get a serrated Dirk here, it's so disgusting, no? Wait, is Quinn roaming? Where's Quinn? Is she AFK? She may be AFK in chat. We got pickaxe and here. Yeah. Well, chat, we have triple her farm, double... Solo Bolo and uh, GG. She may be AFK right now. Oh, there she is. I'm gonna get the Golem camp because the wave is slow pushing into me. So whenever the wave is slow pushing into you, you're pretty much allowed to look for camps like these. Why? Because you're not losing out on anything anyways, right? Plus my Talia's bot side, so she shouldn't mind. And Adrix is very good at taking drone camps. All right, we're losing the cannon wave, FF. Oh, please don't let me lose cannon. All right, never take Golem's camp like this. It's absolutely horrific. It's terrible. Don't do it. You're shit if you do it. All right, let's do the Q1 thing. Q1 plus E. How can I play? Said the Quinn. What? She just backflipped out of my W. Oh, I was pretty impressed by her. I respect that one. Alright. Say it, Quinn. How can I play? Hey, first dive that worked. First dive that worked, chat. First dive. <gasps> First up, it actually worked though, on the real. Let's recall, build defensive, and we're chilling. Let's get one more potion. Well, she has 20 CS chat. All right, do the same thing, Q1 plus E. All right, good movement, I respect it. I wanna make sure she E's in a way where, I mean, she can't play the game. I'm gonna push this wave into her though. All right, chat, we're gonna do another dive. Prepare, I need your energy. All right, chat, we're gonna do this, okay? No bitching. I'm gonna prep Q1. Okay, let's do it slow, let's do it slow, let's do it slow. I, I'm still a bitch. Alright, slow, slow. Q1 again. Ult. Jeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
We're here with the boys. Rock's faker. More like Rock's dead. I mean, let's just expand our lead accordingly across the rest of the map. In fact, I could maybe TP or even. Or Tensus variant on Aatrox, bros. Definitely harder than with Revit. Ooh, we can flank it. They've not been tier 1 as well. They're, shot. They're all dead. I feel like using Q3 very often is just not worth it, actually. I mean, especially when you're chasing, you should never use Q3. I need to learn that. Because you lock yourself in animation, plus it goes on longer cooldown. Biggest thing I learned already is never Q3 when you're chasing. It just doesn't work. You, you never reach them, plus your Q goes on a much longer cooldown. I mean, if you stand still, then I can do it, I guess. Oh my lord. No, that guy's an idiot. Oh shit. Ignite abusers. So what item do I build here realistically, right? So they have very mixed damage. AP Majango. I have armor already in Tabis. They're, they, have, they have three AP damage actually. AP, AP, AP. Should I just get this? Yeah, I think I should just get this. He's a speedy boy. Come here, Timo. Come here, little friend. Okay, so Right, I think we can get the 600 standing gold here on the map, because we have two waves. I mean, they have kind of a useless team comp as well though, like Fiddlesticks casted in mid jungle? Why wouldn't you dodge? This team has no flash. Holy shit, this Milo's movement is kind of clean though. Who else? Gao okay? Cats? Wow. That W went to Narnia. I was about to say, surely you don't E4, but that guy's a menace. Swarm say the carry made on this on the server. Oh shit! What if I turn this like a menace? Okay, now we're dead as shit. was perfect what's up bitch oh shit wait uh, yo it's like i'm playing ribbon honestly just a different version <laughs> i literally didn't lose hp by the way i took like 10 search shots This music is really fitting too, by the way. They are all healing me. They just haven't figured that out yet. This poor Ezreal, bro, he's legit a healing tool for me. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Quinn goes better jungle carry when he got solo kill twice. <laughs> Least delusional top laner. Level one. <laughs> Solo killed twice! Talia was only spectating. Oh. <laughs> At least the shit of I love it. I love it. Never take responsibility. He had to leash. So it's his jungle's fault. That's true. It's true. Yeah.